Well, well, well. Look who we have here. It's Juana. And Andrea. And it's you, your girls. It's your girls and you guys. Yeah. We haven't seen you in quite a while. Where have you been? Summer sabbatical. Summer sabbatical. What's we, that? We need a little break. Work gets crazy sometimes, life gets crazy, so we just need a breather. So we gave ourselves a little break, but we're back with some good content. We want to know what you guys have been doing this summer. Have you been working like we have, going to the beach, took a fun vacation? Whatever you're up to, drop a comment below. We want to hear about your summers. Andrea, yeah. what have you been up to? Well, you know me, I'm always doing something. So yeah. been doing CrossFit, running, playing beach volleyball. I love doing that every summer. I love it. Staying busy and like trying to find time, you know, to connect with like the people around me that I love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I have been mostly working. My husband and I celebrated our wedding anniversary earlier this summer, so we took a nice little vacation. They and didn't relaxed. take me with them. No. I don't know why. I wonder why. <laughs> and just been enjoying time to try to balance work with life and life with work and just take a rest every now and then. It's so important. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been working too. I We work together. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> I've been working as well. We've got some neat videos for today. Yep. And the theme is amazing stories. As an organization, CBN has the opportunity to interview so many different kinds of people and capture their testimonies and stories to encourage you. We know we just asked about your summer, but we also want to give you a moment to tell us about your amazing story. So if you have a praise report or a cool testimony that you want to use to encourage others, also include that in your comment. Our first story is about this woman named Brianna. Now, Brianna suffered a lot uh, from just sexual uh, abuse and tried to cover that with, you know, uh, addictions to substances and just covering that with sex as well and just behaviors like that. Now, during rehab, she met a woman who introduced her to the love of Christ. You have to watch her amazing story by clicking right over here. Yeah, Brianna's story was definitely a good encourage, good encouragement for people who struggle with substance abuse or any type of sin, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. The next story is about Davida, and she and her husband tried for nine years, that is a long time, almost a decade, to have a child. She suffers from polycystic ovarian syndrome, which can cause infertility issues, and she and her husband just were trying to walk through this struggle and didn't know if that promise would come to fruition, but it did. An unexpected encounter in a hotel parking lot of all places led to uh, their promise. You'll want to check out the story and get your tissues ready. It's definitely a tearjerker, but so, so encouraging. You can check out her story here. I was touched by that story when I watched it, but this next story we have is awesome awesome woman named Carol. Now, Carol was diagnosed with cancer and she was suffering. Um, there was probably like no way out and it seemed really, really hopeless. And now when one of her church members found out that she was struggling with this, he donated 60% of his liver. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Well, you have to watch the rest of the story. We won't spoil it. You can watch it right over here. That's crazy. That's great, great. Which is awesome at the same time. How much of your liver do you need to live? I guess 40. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just doing math. Our last feature for today is a CBN's Orphan's Promise story. This is the story of Niang, who is taking care of two children and two grandchildren on a very low income, and she didn't see that she had a way to support her whole family. You'll want to click and watch the video to see how pigs, pigs, saved her life and how that provided um, a way out for her and so she could provide for all of her family. And if you want to be a part of CBN's Orphan's Promise or find out more how you can change lives around the world, you want to have to click on the description box below for more information on that. Good job. Well. Sign me up. That's all we have for today, folks. But before we go, be sure to like this video. Don't forget to leave another nice comment down below because we know you've already left a good one. Subscribe to CBN's YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family. We'll see you next week. Bye.